I am the leader of Team Sky, and I'm going on a hunt. During my previous Paldea adventure, I took on an evil future version of myself, the leader of Team Night Sky. Thankfully, I was able to defeat him and shut down the time machine, thus preventing me from becoming him, but also trapping him here. I am certain that he has been working to reenact his evil plan of darkening the whole world sky in my world, and I cannot allow that to happen. For months, though, I've found no trace of him. That is, until now. I've gotten word that he's been spotted in the faraway land of Kitakami, and I am heading there right now to find him and stop him. Ooh, I actually get to take a real plane there. I love planes. Surprise. Kitakami. Look at all those Yanma flying around. I already love it. I know I'm here to stop Team Night Sky, but I might as well look around for any exciting creatures of the sky while I'm here. What is that? It's Poochiena! I don't believe my skies. In my first adventure, I used a Mightyena because the leaders of Team Magma and Aqua did. And due to it clearly not being capable of flight, I received some criticism. You have enough flying Pokemon, drop the talk, man. But now with the power of terrestrialization, I can finally have a Mightyena that can take to the skies. Go Team Sky! My first Mighty Anna was called Air Bud, so you shall be Air Buddy. Now, how many flying Terra Shards do I need? Uh, all of them. I, I need all of them. Oof. Well, I'm still gonna use it in the meantime. It's a, it's a work in progress. A work in progress? That's an exciting Mighty Anna! Go Team Sky! Quick little trip to town, and now there's people with very weird hair. And my goodness, lady, you are so tall. Well, it's nice to meet you, Carmen and Kieran. Have either of you seen someone who looks exactly like me, but like about 20 years older, probably wearing all black? Wait, have I offended you? We're immediately battling. I... I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. People just tend to do that. Welcome to Kitakami for your first experience. Get ready to eat dirt. Is that part of the local cuisine? What is that thing? Week to dark. Victory for air buddy. You, who are you? I'm the leader of Team Sky. Not only am I a charming protector of the sky, but I also have a lot of subscribers. You could add to it. It's a good way to support the sky. Oh, they grew up here. They have weird hair, but I could use their expertise to help me track down Night Sky. Kieran, I would like your assistance in navigating your home region to locate Night Sky, and he, he wants to fight me. Very well, I will earn your respect with my new dog. It's a good boy. Have I earned your respect, Kieran? Will you assist me in my search? Watch out for my little bro. I shall, tree lady. Loyalty Plaza. Okay, we'll investigate there. Well, it's a nice little garden, but I see no sign of Night Sky. Long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. Ugh, disgusting. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of luck, Okie Dogie, Monkey Dory, and Fezendipity all happened to be there as well. Are those Pokemon? One of them is a bird! The three Pokemon laid down their lives! Pokemon can die! I was so excited about the opportunity of obtaining a new bird, but it appears that it lost its life many years ago. The sky is not as bright without you, bird Pokemon. Oh, they're buried right over there. How tragic, a bird with its wings clipped. Don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? No, it killed a bird. Come on, it was all alone. The battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold its own. That's way cool. It's terrifying, and it killed a bird. Jetbutt, a kaiju. This is this is Jetbutt. He's my friend. I tried to paint him green, but whatever metal he is made of is um paint resistant. Also, he thought the paintbrush tickled, so he would. Kick me. Let me tell you, not something I recommend. Getting kicked by a robot dragon from the future. The next place he suggested was Kitakami Hall, but first I must pay my respects. To the poor dead bird. And the other two, I guess. It's so nice to be able to fly with Jetbutt. By fly, I mean glide slowly and bounce off of a pot of tea. Only Jetbutt could truly fly, but I understand the limitations. Power of flight is a power Few creatures are worthy enough to get. Ha ha! It is I, Goran Timbind! Ow! Hello, Team Sky. Team Rocket. Sorry, but I can't deal with you right now. I'm in the middle of a mission with the fate of the sky and the world at stake. Oh. Well, I 
want the world to be okay, so uh, let me assist you. Tell me, would it help you at all to buy products from Japan? Uh, maybe. Well, you're in luck, because Zen Market is the sponsor of today's video. Zen Market is a Japan proxy buying service that lets international shoppers buy products available only in Japan. They order the products for you, keep them safe in their warehouse for free up to 60 days, then ship them internationally to you. So you could get Japan exclusive, I don't know, Rayquaza products. Oh, tell me more. Zen Market is integrated with major shopping platforms like Amazon, Rakuten, and Mercari that do have lots of great Pokemon products, but you can buy from 10,000 plus other Japanese stores, including Pokemon Center. They even have a specific tutorial on how to do so. Wow. Well, I suppose I can take a brief break from my mission to do a bit of uh, sky-worthy shopping. Well, then hop, oh, excuse me, fly to it. It's free to make an account, so just head to the link in the description below. New members who use promo code MNJTV get 750 Zen points, worth a 750 yen discount off the international shipping fee. Plus, until March 15th, the code OMOTENASHI2401 gives you 15% off the international shipping fees for your first parcel. Fantastic. Thank you, Grunting Boyle. It's Grunty Boy. I... I try to be nice. Good luck saving the world or whatever. Ta-ta! I'm not seeing as many exciting creatures of the sky as I thought I would. Kitakami Hall. Ooh, a festival. Is that why Team Night Sky came here? Taking a break from his evil deeds to purchase some sweet treats? That's the case, I understand. He's anything like me, which I suppose he's... Quite a lot like me. Supposed to meet with Kieran at this signboard. You know, we're investigating together. You're kind of like the Watson to my Sherlock. How would you feel about me exclusively calling you Watson from here on out? Nope. Don't say anything more. I can tell you love the idea. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care. I can climb the mountain from the stairs. I would prefer to fly. Do you wonder we can go see the ogre's home? Folks call it the dreaded den. <gasps> The world's sky darkened is something I do indeed dread. You're suggesting that could be Team Night Sky's hideout. You're brilliant, Watson. Let's go at once. Ah, Magikarp. Tempting indeed. I normally utilize Gyarados in some form or fashion, but I didn't in my Paldea adventure. Gotta say, I kind of missed it. Maybe I'll catch one here in Kitakami. This be it. Team Night Sky's hideout. Close to the sky. Relative picturesque. Is he here, Watson? I'm ready for a fight. Oh, I, I guess a fight with you then. Watson, I appreciate your admiration for me, but I'm on a mission to literally save the world. It feels a bit goofy to be doing this, but fine. Look at these early route mammals duking it out entirely on the ground. Like I said, I'll work on it. Anyways, let's see if Night Sky's in there and there's absolutely nothing. And it's dark and cramped. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable in here. My future self would definitely also be. Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall. That's fun. Wait, that's perfect. I can wear a mask there, disguise myself, and then see if Night Sky shows up. But friends, I feel all tingly and funny hearing that. Eh hey, hey, hey. Watson, I'm gonna lay it all out for you. Getting a little concerned that you're growing a bit attached to me, which is understandable. I'm very great and also very cute. But we must maintain a professional relationship because we are working on a project together as co-workers and also because I'm almost 30 <laughs> and you're like maybe 13. <laughs> oh my God! Finally, green clothing! What have you done to my hair, though? It's fine, I can fix that. Go get myself a mask, of course. I have to disguise myself. I wanna be able to sneak up on Team Night Sky if he's at the festival. There's not enough masks. I am the most important person to disguise here, Tall Watson. How about instead of a mask, I give you a battle? What is it with you people? Feel free to be dazzled by how great I look in my Jinmei. Again, do both of you have crushes on me? I'm almost 30. Oh, well, it's not like beating me was gonna cause another mask to magically appear. Tall Watson, do you not understand? I'm gonna remove your title of Tall Watson if you can't get on board with what I need to do here. You know what, I'm gonna start calling you Notson because you're not Watson because you're so mean. Amazing, the festival. Oh, 
so many delicious treats to smell. There's no way Night Sky could stay away from this. What is that? Are those wings or nubs? Looks like that mask is for one of the not bird ones. Can I buy one of the bird ones? Beautiful treats, as much syrup as you want, ice cream, candy apples, shaved ice. If Night Sky is even slightly like me, he's going to be here in a moment. But I need a mask, he can't spot me. I want to buy a mask, but no one's at the stall. I feel so naked. Well, it may not even matter. Still no sign of Night Sky. What is this thing? Tell me, strange Pokemon, do you fly? Doesn't really seem like it. Mysterious child. Oh, I thought it was a Pokemon. Well, are you enjoying the festival? Wait, are you Night Sky in disguise? Hey, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. You're clearly too short to be Night Sky. Shouldn't run off on my own. Notson, shut your mouth. I am very capable of all things and everything. Do you know what I've done? Oh, oh, <gasps> that's the ugliest baby I've ever seen. Oh wait, no, it is a Pokemon. Why did I think it was a child at any point in time? Okay, well, wild Pokemon runs free. Whatever. Oh wait, but now I have its mask. I finally have a mask! Where'd that kid come from? What is wrong with you, Notson? You are the worst detective assistant I've ever encountered. That was very clearly not a human. Could that have been the ogre from the story? The one that murdered the birder. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? We just bumped into the ogre. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, Notson, what are you trying to stop me? Notson, why are you hiding this information? From Watson. Kiki really likes the ogre, like really, really, really likes it. So if you found out we'd seen the ogre without him, I guess I was afraid you'd feel bad. Am I overthinking it? You're definitely overthinking it. We could absolutely find that thing again. We already lied about it, that's that. Notson, I don't agree with this course of action, but these are all minor concerns here. I'm trying to find myself. Who am I? There is much more at stake here than this little Pokemon. But we have been here for a while and Night Sky didn't show, so this was a bust. The Mask Vendor! Hello, I'm gonna talk from behind you because I can. Pheasantipity must be the bird. It's a little feminine for my personal preferences and uh, not the right color, but it's important to disguise my identity and I'm not going to wear any other mask than the birds. He'll never recognize me, but I still gotta fix this stupid hair. There we go, much better. And before I continue, I think I do want to grab a Gyarados. Hello! Nice. Look at that little duck! A ducklet, I've never heard of you, but I love you. You do appear to be a water type and I already have Gyarados. Uh, but I'll keep you as a pet. Can't have a Gyarados without Dragon Dance. Well, I did a raid, got two Terra Shards. <sighs> All right, I finished my errands. Hello, Watson. Not some. Wait, what's going on? The truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. What? Ogre Pawn. A long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitakami from a foreign land and the village people were racist. A village mask maker made masks for them so they would be welcomed. The travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. This is depressing as hell. Rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon. You're trying to tell me the dead bird was greedy. There's nothing wrong with greed. I am greedy for more sky. Sneaked into the cave in which the man and the ogre lived and tried to make off with the masks which were carefully stored away. The man held on to one of the masks, but he was not strong enough to protect them all. The Pokemon stole the other three. Wait, did, did they kill the guy? The ogre donned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there gloating over their stolen masks and defeated them. So the ogre's answer to theft was murder? Well, actually, okay. If if the guy was killed so that I guess the, it fought murder with murder. In which case that does make more sense. The villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, they were the loyal three. Um, I have some complex feelings about this. It does seem that the bird and its cronies killed the guy. And I will admit that isn't great. It's just a tragic tale of a some Pokemon making some bad decisions and then getting punished for it. And the loyal three, they're the worst. Okay, look, the monkey and the dog, sure. 
But the bird, there had to have been other things going on, all right? Maybe the, the monkey and the dog manipulated it, okay? If it was still alive, I could reform it. Can any of this help me find Team Night Sky? And we're keeping it a secret from Watson because he's sensitive? All right, I don't want to interfere with family business, but okay. All right, crazy story. Bird's still dead, and you have been completely unhelpful with the investigation. I'm getting Watson. Would you like to assist me further? What were we talking about? Uh, none of it matters. We need a next place to look for Team Night Sky. It's in the Paradise Barrens. Why would Team Night Sky be out here? Everything is, well, as the name suggests, barren. Who gave it the name Paradise? Where is Watson? There you are, Watson. Why did you bring us here? There's... What? There's nothing here. Pretty lonely place. Yeah. Actually, now that you mention it, it would be a pretty solid place for a hideout. Because no one's here. Hey, battle you. You and your sister! This time I'll win. Hate to break it to you, buddy, I am the leader of Team Sky. And in this adventure specifically, I actually didn't have to get an entirely new team. You are at a severe disadvantage. If you keep using bug types against me, you're going to lose. See, you even made this one worse against flying. Go Team Sky! Once again, the early route Pokemon battle. Jeez, that does a lot. Okay, uh, you win this round for it. Alrighty. Diplin? What is a Diplin? Oh no. Dude, you gave me a candy apple last night and I ate that thing. What a strange Pokemon. Oh, cause I'm too weak. I mean, you are, but it's fine. Just give yourself more time, Watson. Now, back to the investigation. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Uh, yeah, I would say I'd be wary if a shadowy figure approached me literally at any time. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. Well, thank goodness I'm already wearing a mask. Wait, is this talking about Team Night Sky? Wait, no, this is an ancient signboard. That, that, that would not make any sense. Man, and just like that, another day is gone. I'm getting worried Team Night Sky's not even here anymore. You wanna fix the mask, but I need one more material. You need a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. Where is that? The crystal pool is at the top of Oni Mountain. Of course, I'm such a buffoon! Team Night Sky would have to be found at the highest point in the region. The crystal pool is gotta be up here. Please tell me. <gasps> There you are! Hello, Team Sky. How annoying to see you. Wait, how'd you know it was me? I'm wearing this mask. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Who else do you know who has a Maridon? Oh, well I guess I can take it off, but... Anyways, I know you're trying to darken the sky again, and I will not let it happen. I will stop you right here and now. Nice try, but I've got more important things to do first. Whoa, what is that? It looks like jet butt, but without the jets. So just butt. This is the winged king. Winged king? Winged where? Goodbye, Team Sky. Wait, hey, no, come back here. You can't, what? What? He's, he's fully flying. I can only glide, that that shouldn't be possible. Jetbutt can't do that, how is he doing that? Night Sky, Night Sky! I, I don't understand how that's possible. I need to become stronger. I need the power of full flight. Why was he here though? He needed something here and maybe I can figure that out at Oh, Notson! Notson, do you happen to know why Team Night Sky was here? It was the crystal pool, but you didn't expect it to be so pretty. I mean, crystal, I mean, one could have inferred. There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who've passed away. Was that what he was trying to do? How would that help him achieve his goals, though? Jump in, don't be scared. You want me to go underwater? Well, yeah, I can't swim. I mean, yeah, fair, neither can I. What is happening? An earthquake? That's my least favorite kind of quake. Oh, hello. If you were a creature of the sky, I'd be much more excited, but you're not. Sucker punch, ha ha. Well, now that we dealt with that intruder, there's that crystal they wanted for the mask. Could it also be used to power up Maridon to fly like the winged king? Oh, who are you, spooky lady? Those eyes are so menacing. Just doing a bit of field research, I was interested in the properties of the water here. The crystal pools water emit energy the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. I guess that explains why terrestrialization can happen here, but what does Night Sky want to do with terrestrial energy? I'm not sure what to do next, though. It's clear that Night Sky doesn't even want to fight me. 
and he has the power to escape me because his winged king can fully fly. I need to be able to make Jetbutt fully fly, but I don't know how. Wait, what happened to Watson? He ran off with the mask. Look, y'all, I came here because Night Sky was spotted here. I spotted him. He's probably not even here anymore. I guess I can stick around because you all might have the answers to full flight, but I am in a sticky situation. At the very least, the fact that he ran indicates he's afraid of me, so I've got that going for me. Watson, I have updates. I found Night Sky. He's got what looks like an ancient jet butt and he just fled. So do you know anything about full power of flight? You're not listening. I understand there is some family drama occurring, I'm sorry, but this is super important. Oh, okay. Is there a chill pill needed? The fate of the world is at stake, Watson! Oh, oh no, Watson! Uh, battle you? You win, I'll give you back the mask. I don't care about the mask! All right, well, nice job evolving your Yanma into that beautiful green creature of the sky, which I don't use because bug flying is really hard to make good. If you flinch me, I'm going to be so upset. Mm -hmm. All right, I gotta assure the KO here. I'm brave burning. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Yes, thank you! Bruh. Uh-oh. All right, well, uh, Watson has gotten a lot better. This might be ill-advised, but with how fast this thing is and with the flinching from Air Slash, I need the priority, so we're sucker punching. Aha! All right, that was a green creature of the sky. Of course, that's going to be the thing we struggle with the most. Gligar! Watson, I respect you so much. Why do you have to be so mad at me? Be mad at your sister. Also, where did you get that? I haven't seen those anywhere. Anyways, here's Fellhorn. Ooh, hyper cutter. Let's, uh, let's dragon dance. Ooh, I got you good, huh? I can beat you, Mikey. I will win. No, you won't. Shut up. Ice Fang. Alrighty. Man, if he's got uh, more creatures of the sky, I am in trouble. He does have more creatures of the sky. Watson, I knew. You are a worthy admin for my team. There's no need for us to fight. You can join me. Oh no, he's got lice. Look, man, I'm sorry. I'm, ooh, ow. Anyways, look, I'm sorry I hid the ogre thing from you. Your family wanted it. You all should see a family therapist for sure. But wait, hold on. What about Team Sky, Watson? Uh, he's done. All right, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. Watson is frankly not a very good sister. What was that? The Loyal Three Monument. Huh? What's happening? What is happening? What? Oh my gosh! What? Oh. No. The Loyal Three! They're alive! I don't care about two of them, but the bird is alive! Get out of the way, you stupid mammals! That bird is smug as hell and I respect it! Wait, come back! I wish to capture you, bird! It is getting so inconvenient that I do not have the full power of flight. Also, yeah, how are they brought back to life? This is insane! I started as a guy who just wanted to expand the sky and now I'm dealing with time travel, resurrection, and teenage angst. All equally stressful things. They ascended the mountain. Oh, they're going after the ogre. I, uh, this is a mess. There you are. Join me, I've never had a zombie on my team before. The ganging up on the baby isn't, isn't great, but it's fine. I'll defeat the mammals, capture the bird, and reform it. yip yippy, yippee ki -yay. Like, what do you want me to say? What is happening? The monkey! Making me fight the stupid monkey. I don't care about the stupid monkey. Ooh, okay, but I respect it. Oh, so close. <gasps> Wait, I know what to do. Uh, can I do it? Or are you just gonna keep making vocalizations? Sucker punch? Ha <laughs> ha, good dog. I realized I was bad mouthing the green dog earlier. Um, that does not apply to Air Buddy. Air Buddy is a good dog. That is very clearly a bad dog. All right, now to fight and capture the bird. Stop running away from me. Why does everything keep running away from me today? About the mask, I just got so angry and what I did was real dumb. It's fine, you proved you have an excellent team. I'm sorry too for whatever your family's doing. Now will you assist me in my mission, Watson? Be an admin in Team Sky? Okay, I guess we'll talk to the ogre. You do seem to have a thing for it. I will say though, I. Pretty sure this thing doesn't fly. Looks like it has wings and is green. Both great. Definitely not getting off the ground. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it. Fine. It'd be nice if we could give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond too, don't you think? Ah, they took the other three masks. We're gonna form a team. The mask retrieval squad. No, no, no. Our team is Team Sky, of which I am the leader. Watson is an admin. 
and you can be a grunt. You got a problem with the name? I do have a problem with the name! I will fight you right now, Natsun! Ogre Pond will now follow you around. Fine, but only if you can keep up. I saw Fezendipity zoom through the sky over Oni Mountain. It was so much cooler than the story say. I respect you, small boy. Locals believe worshiping Fezendipity will lead to good luck and serendipitous happenings. Fezendipity was once a Pokemon with short, dull feathers, but a wish to be beautiful led it to gain an exquisite appearance. Exquisite appearance indeed! Let's go get it! Maybe whatever turned its feathers from short and dull to exquisite could give Jetbutt the power of true flight. Join me, Fezendipity! Be a glorious part of Team Sky! Where are you going? Did you just willingly fly into a cave? You really do need reform. Has it gotten bigger? It has! It's wonderful. I hope it never gets smaller. The bird! Wait, I can't catch it now? Must be like those titans back in Paldea. I'll have to defeat it now, but I will- Oh, I hope I defeat it now. All right, well, it used a fairy move, so I'm gonna use my steel type. I will defeat you, you glorious bird. Eventually. Ooh. And then I will catch you sometime later, I guess? Is it a fairy poison type? With the ability toxic chain and not levitate. Is this bird weak to ground? Come on! But I defeated it. Sadly, shrunk it back to normal. It's fine. We'll take down the other two, and then I will catch the bird. Please. Really big monkey. Oh my god. Well, from previous experience, I know this thing is weak to dark. Sucker punch. That doesn't do much. Crit? No. Okay. Okay. I think we've got it. Oh, maybe not. Yikes. It's fine. Rookie is immune to it. Swadloon, Swadloon! No, I don't resist that. No, come on, Swadloon! <laughs> Dang it! Acrobatics, and there it goes. Holy crap! That freaking monkey! You've been a bad. Puppy. Leaning with Gorvanite this time. Very clearly these things are poison type. That scarf's way too stylish for the likes of you. Way to go, small cup. All three defeated. And we got all the ogre's masks back. Okay, sure. Watson, you're here. You want to ask a favor? Come to the village and bring the ogre with you? Are you sure it's safe? They seem to want to beat up the baby. Let's escort it back to its home. Fine. Here you are, ogre pawn. You're home? I wish you the best. Bye-bye. What? Oh, no. I imprinted on it. My charm is too irresistible. If it's not gonna stay here, then I, I wanna, I want Ogre Pond to come with me. That's a great idea. Watson, you love this thing. You should take it. Mikey, please, let me battle you. I wanna see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. No, hold on, you can just have it. I don't wanna battle you. I'm going to defeat you. And then that will mean that I get it. But like, I don't want that. I, I can't lose this on purpose. I don't know how to lose. I'm Team Sky. Cover Wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. Hold on. I did not agree to this commitment. It very clearly does not fly. Are you okay? Am I going to make this mental health crisis worse? Why did you get a shift tree? You know, I've heard shift tree used to be a bird and then its evil deeds were punished and now it's on the ground. So basically, that's what I'm trying to do to Night Sky. Pulse of darkness, ooh, a peck of drill. Oh, come on, so close. You're not holding back? Well, of course not. I don't know how. Don't flinch me, don't flinch me, don't flinch me. Let's go. Okay, one down. Send out some more creatures of the sky. I love that you use those. I guess Shiftry kind of was. I guess your information is out of date. Dude, that is, I know it looks like it's floating, but come on. Intimidate it. Oh, what? Well, that was the worst possible thing that could have happened. Are you serious? I was gonna let you be an admin and you pull that on me? So mad at you, Watson. It's neutral, but uh, it's gonna do a lot. Another Electro Drift. I kept Gyarados alive because I might use the Intimidate again. Now it's a Gliscor. So much respect. Not great for me in this moment. And Rock Tomb's neutral on Rookie. I'm gonna get super slow, but I can just, I got leftovers. I can bulk up several times. That was a crit. 
That's great. Love to see it. Okay, I'm at plus three defense, plus three attack. I gotta start hitting this thing. Plus three attack is not even a two hit KO. There are reasons I've used this thing. It's so good. And if it could just miss a rock tomb? Nope, too much to ask. All right. Hoo hoo! Gah! Polyrath. It's probably gonna go for Hydro Pump, but it could miss. Oh no, it was dumb! It got greedy! I don't care that you're healing, man. I'm at plus four. Brrr. There's the Yen Mega. I know this thing's a special attacker, so my defense doesn't help. But if I don't flinch, he... Oh, oh no, it just KOs straight up. All right, that stinks. Just got acrobatics it, and it lives. Uh, mm, don't love that. What's with the berry? What did that berry just do? Defense? Okay, so I should still KO. Aha! Aha! I lived! I lived! Acrobatics, sit down! It's not over yet. I'm tired of losing. Then battle someone else! But this is gonna do it! Whoo! All right, go Team Sky! Seriously though, Watson, you get your mental health together. You ditch the ones that don't fly. You would be a very effective admin. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond. I suppose I don't have a choice. Um, I guess you can hang out at one of the bases. This feels like such a distraction from the mission at hand, okay? Remember what I, what is that? That was one of the masks we picked up? Oh my gosh, it's shawl changed colors. That looks very fiery. Ooh, oh no. Bad, 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 bad. Get the steel type out of here immediately. Get rid of that freaking attack boost. No, thank you. Ivy cudgel. Ooh, that was resisted, jeez. That was earthquake you, my gosh. Oh my gosh, that, oh, oh. Whoa, that did way more than I thought it would. Okay, grassy terrain. That weakens my earthquake. Okay, well, now that I know that it's just a fire type, Let's switch again and get another Intimidate off. Ooh, in the rain! <gasps> That's so exciting! A blessing from the sky! Oh no, come on! Okay, the waterfall got it, let's go. All right, I guess I can catch Ogre Pond now. Huh? You can't be serious. <sighs> and all my Intimidates are gone. I'll say it, stinks. I know Jetbutt's good here, but I gotta I gotta Intimidate this thing at least once. Oh, and now the rain is helping its water power. This is a disaster! At least I resisted. <sighs> Let's just get some damage off. I think Manifest might be going down. Nice. Ouch. The rain was so helpful and then super not. Jetbutt, your turn. Now let's Electro Drift. Ooh. Oh, I love you, Jetbutt. Oh, now it's a rock. Oh no, now it's a rock. This is so bad. Okay, I just got Electro Drift this thing. Not super effective, but st Jesus, Jetbutt. Oh my God. God, you are a glorious creature of Team Sky. One more time, booyah. And now the green one. Only that was flying, but it's definitely not. I mean, Electro Drift doesn't make sense this time, so let's metal sound. Ooh. <laughs> How much is this Dragon Pulse gonna do, Jet Butt? Come on. Oh no. If I can live this IV cudgel, I've got it. Way to go, Jet Butt. Go. Team Sky! I'm sorry it didn't choose you. Why can't you be like me? You can. Join Team Sky, I will train you. Help me defeat Night Sky and, oh, well, once you've got your stuff sorted out, come talk to me. All right, that was uh, that was a lot to do in a day. Not some. Do you know where Pheasantipity is? Watson has shut himself in his room. Huh. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That is a bit worrying, but I am not a licensed therapist. Hello, Briar. Seems all the student pairs have completed their orienteering. I do not care. Head on over to the community center. Briar, do you know where Pheasantipity is? Well, Notson, I. Suppose it was an honor working with you. If you hear anything about Team Night Sky, please tell me. You're leaving? To Blueberry Academy? But why? I need your assistance. Some developments concerning the Great Crater, where the time machine was. Notson, you hear anything, you call me. Well, my assistants are gone, but I cannot stop my quest. I need Pheasantipity, the power of true flight, and to find Night Sky again. Aha, there you are. Join me, glorious bird. Unlock your true potential as part of Team Sky. And the timer ball works immediately. Go Team Sky! What else do I call it but yippee ki -yay. I now have Pheasantipity, which is indeed a, a, a 
bird that's weak to ground, uh, which I um, am not, I'm not thrilled about. Unfortunately now though, I'm almost back to square one. I don't know how to make Jetbutt truly fly and I don't know where Team Night Sky went. One of my assistants could find something that would be amazing, but for now, I just have to continue my search blindly. It's been some time. I've done a good job of training my team and I finally have half of the shards needed to change Air Buddy's Terra type. Why is this so hard? I also haven't found a trace of Night Sky. He's, he's just gone. It's as if he vanished into, I don't know, the middle of the ocean. What is this? A call from Notson? I haven't heard from her in a while. Hello, Notson. What? You've seen Night Sky? Where? At your school? In the middle of the ocean. Huh. Blueberry Academy. Team Aqua would like this place. This is just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Ew. Why would Night Sky come to a sea-focused place like this? I think it's safe to say that you'll be battling more here than in any other school. I'm glad I trained. Seems like these kids are no joke. Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club? Sounds like an Elite Four for babies. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Well, this is uh, new to me. Oh, lecture types from Hoenn. All right, Manifest, I need you to Earthquake here. Oh. They're doing Volt Absorb and Lightning Rod, and they've paralyzed both of my Pokemon. I'm enraged. I have to Earthquake, which means yippee ki has got to switch out, but that also means bringing in one of my Pokemon that can be hit by discharge, so. Let's hope my bulky bird holds on. Alluring voice. What was that? Man, this is this is a cold welcome. All right, Gyarados knows Earthquake. Very weak to discharge, but like it's gotta outspeed these things, right? Please. Thank goodness. This definitely KOs. Oh no, it didn't KO the Minun. An Excadrill? Are you serious? This chick is just designed to wreck my team. And flinched rookie. Brilliant. She's only got three Pokemon, and I had to use four to beat her, and they all took a beating. What is this school? What? Clouds? You have created a false sky! I've never been so offended in my life! This school should be burned down! Well, I guess we're under the water, so that wouldn't work very well. It should be sunk into the... Okay, it's actually also already pretty sunk down. It should lose any and all government subsidies. Why would Night Sky come here? I know he's truly evil, but we do have a lot in common. I feel like we would both really hate this place. Just in time to see a class session. I don't care about your learnings here. You are learning in a vile environment. An environment. Ooh, look, a bird nest. <laughs> ah, I can finally live my dreams of being a bird. The world wasn't at stake. I would just nest here all day. Whoa, I just picked up 17 bug Terra shards? If I could find a pile of flying Terra shards, that'd be amazing. Not soon. You want to meet? Fantastic. I want to hear more about Night Sky. There you are, Natsun. Who's the chick with the handlebar hair? Long time no see, Mikey. I bet you missed me, huh? Uh, you are helping me, so I guess yes. Goodbye, handlebar hair. Feels kind of weird seeing you here at my school. Yeah, I mean, I'm deep underwater in a fake sky. I'm not pleased. You've been helping Miss Briar with her research in all sorts of different regions. Traveling around the world, and yet you find Night Sky here at your school. That's so odd. Oh. And we're fighting. These people! So aggressive. Two cannon! What a glorious bird! Get ready to eat terrarium dirt. Okay, don't say that. Going to Fellhorn and intimidate them. Dazzling Gleam. Ooh, hit the Mighty Anna very hard. And there's that toxic chain. Fantastic. What are you doing? Eating up its beak. I didn't pin that thing as a fire type. It's not one. But it burned me? because I touched its heated up beak. Fascinating. I don't think it makes sense to use that bird this time, but maybe in a future adventure. They're going all out. Tear it up. That was actually a good pun. Drill pack. Ooh, not enough, but Dazzling Gleam should do it. And there we go. Go Team Sky. Have I run into Watson yet? No, I haven't. I was hoping he would help me with the investigation, but I haven't heard from him since a while ago. Oh my goodness, Watson! I dig what you've done with your hair. I think you're okay just being this weak forever. That's what I'm hearing. Watson, I told you to seek therapy and you clearly did not listen. If you wanna be a Team Sky admin, you gotta get your attitude together. Damn, what is going on with him? I can't have these distractions 
from our mission against Team Night Sky? Who is this? A black outfit. Night Sky, you dyed your hair! Oh, you are not Night Sky. Am I that new kid with the wild backstory? That would be an understatement. <laughs> this is Drayton and he's the worst. Oh, he seems fine. You're in a foreign exchange program. Ah, good cover, Watson. Watson and I are friends. At least we, we were, he hasn't talked to me in a while. Your club room? Don't need to join your silly little club. I have my own club already, good sir. In fact, so tight knit of a club, it's called a team. Get this, Team Sky! This is a room. You have your own Pokemon battle ranking system. The Brazilian Butt League. I'm listening. The top four Pokemon trainers in the Brazilian Butt League are the Brazilian Butt League Elite Four. Okay, and that was the pink haired girl. This annoying toothpaste haired bozo. Natsun, I'm glad you're assisting me, but I'm not sure you're in the best position to insult other people's hair. Maybe what I can do is ascend to the top of their club ranks. Then they will be my subordinates. I can convert this league club into a small sector of Team Sky, and then I can utilize the power of all these weirdly strong students to not only take down this cruel underwater establishment, but defeat Night Sky once and for all! You have something to tell me? It's about Drayton and Kiki. I know there's stuff going on, Natsun, but... Like Night Sky, fate of the world. To become a totally different person. Wait, you think he may have been corrupted by Night Sky? He's the president of the league club and the Brazilian butt champion. This is grave. And Drayton is up to something. He's a real annoying super jerk. He's had to repeat the same year three times. <laughs> but if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Natsun, you're definitely fully insane. But I like your feistiness. You are now in Team Sky. We'll figure out a green outfit later. It seems I can't trust Watson with the Night Sky investigation for the time being because of his weird hair change. Hello, Watson! You look different. Wait, it would be unprecedented for me to join your league, but I'm the leader of Team Sky. I can do whatever I want. I may be wonderfully capable in battle, but doesn't mean he belongs in the BBL. Oh, well, thank you, uh, dude. Handlebar hair denies me! Watson, come on, we go way back. Fantastic, Watson, thank you. Success, I have infiltrated their ranks. I can climb to the top in no time. Soon you will all work for Team Sky, which used to be a villainous thing, but not anymore. Usually you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks, but seeing as how you've got recommendations from several Elite Four members and Director Serrano, you'll start from a higher rank, oh, as I should be. I'll challenge the Elite Four straight away. Sweet, sweet synchronization. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment? Sure. The worst that could happen. What's going? Whoa! Oh! Oh! My mind and feelings are now synchronized with those of my Pokemon. I have become flying! Sinclair, you are a genius! Now I can just do this anytime! Amazing! Let's do Lacey first. Her betrayal stings. All right, Lacey, let's do this. I will admit, I'm kind of scared. That Plusl and Minon were no joke, but there's too much at stake for me to give up now. Fairy type Pokemon. Wait, Plusl and Minon aren't fairy type Pokemon. Okay, Whimsicott and Granbull. Her usual party. Ah, so the others were just a decoy? Oh, intimidate. Dang it. I'm gonna start with a bulk up, and I might be able to just one shot this Whimsicott with a sludge bomb. Never mind. Oh, I almost did. <laughs> okay, bulk up, attacks back to neutral, I'm at plus one defense. What is this Grand Bull gonna do? Fire punch. Ooh, that's not good. I cannot let that thing burn me. Okay, I'm gonna protect this turn with Rookie. I'm gonna Icy Wind them both. Icy Wind might KO Whimsicott, and it's a chance to poison both of them. Did it really miss the freaking Grand Bull? Okay. It didn't even KO the Whimsicott, no! All right, well, Iron Head the Grand Bull and Dazzling Gleam, I guess. Gotta go, Fezzendipity. Oh, but the flinch, let's go! How's this light screen gonna wear off? Slowbro? What is wrong with that Slowbro? The shell's in the wrong place. So I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm going to switch to my dark type in a fairy type battle. Grand Bull goes down, fantastic. Aha! 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 Aha, your psychic does nothing! Bray Marina. Never seen that before. I'm gonna bulk up again and then snarl with Air Buddy. Try and lower these things offensive. Quick draw! No! What? Why do you have fire? Okay, not much damage, but offense is lowering. Okay, this is gonna KO Air Buddy. Yeah, all right. Well, we got the snarl. Light screen wears off. Okay. Let's go into Fellhorn. Rookie's gonna protect, try and get a bit more leftovers, and let's just Earthquake. We hope they both targeted Rookie. Two shot on Slowbro, okay, never mind. 
ever mind. Hyper voice. Not very effective. Hyper voice was water type. How strange. Throat spray boosted its special attack. What are these people? This slow bro is the biggest threat. Don't quick draw, don't quick draw, don't quick draw. It didn't quick draw. It didn't quick draw. Alrighty. Iron head is enough. Okay. Ooh, that hyper voice. Rookie's still standing though. Oh, creamy. Is that just a pile of cream? Weird. Just keep earthquaking. Oh, almost got the pre-marina, but we got the El Creamy. All right, Hyper Voice takes out Rookie, but Rookie got several KOs, so I'm not upset. <laughs> oh, Excadrill. Thought I sent in an Intimidator. I think probably gonna rock slide again, but I'm just gonna start earthquaking with both of my Pokemon. All right, I'm learning. Team Sky is learning. There it is. Rock Tomb, not Rock Slide. Okay, pre-marina's done. All righty, one more turn. Maybe. What are you doing? Terra Blast. Ooh, okay. That's probably gonna take down Manifest. Yep, but that's fine. Because with this waterfall, Felhorn wins it! Go Team Sky! Let's do Drayton next. Why would the dragon guy choose to do his thing in the ice area? A Hisuian quillfish? I didn't realize those existed in this time. Polar Plaza. What's with the giant lighter? I'm a cold weather kind of guy, not what you'd expect from a dragon type user, right? Agreed. Terrarium only battles? I have to clobber three of my fellow league clubbers in battle, but I can only use Pokemon caught living wild in this place. I spent so much time training this team and you're not even letting me use them. Guess I gotta get a new team. Worthy creatures of the Sky, where are the? Oh, oh, Charmander! I can have a Charizard! Okay, this actually worked great. I don't know if I would have found that otherwise. Go Team Sky. <gasps> 15 flying Terra Shards! I think that's enough! I brought flying Terra Shards to feed to Air Buddy! I did it! I did it! Whoa, Flygon! I love Flygon! It's got fly in its name, and it's green! All right! Ooh, and Rowlet! It doesn't end up as a flying type, but... It's definitely a creature of the sky, okay? It can fly. I've used two kinds of them now. I don't know which one this one's gonna be, but both would be useful. Ah, the toucan. Looks like I will get to use you after all. All right, uh, four should be enough, right? Round one, Craig. Don't love being face to face with some rock types. And that does, oh my God, so much. <laughs> And a heat wave. There we go. Ooh, what's wrong with that sand slash? Like two ice types though. What is the next one gonna be electric? This is ridiculous. Okay, well the sand slash was easy. Aha, no ice beam for you. But the earthquake's gonna do it. Fantastic. You know, Iono the streamer, I use the same type as her. Literally rock, ice, and electric. These three people hate Team Sky. I am very glad I caught the Flygon and the Charizard. Actually, they cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. Forget the protecting, let's just Heat Wave and Earthquake and KO both of these things. You dare stomp upon me, you silly horse. Sit down. Go Team Sky. Now, do I have to use my new Pokemon against you? Cause if so, uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to come back. Go ahead and take a sec to change it up. Thank you. Let's do this, Drayton. Golly gee. <laughs> some nasty Pokemon to start off with. And I'm glad I intimidated them. Pretty sure Yippee-ki-yay here is gonna be the fastest Pokemon on the field. I wanna keep it that way. Set up this Tailwind and then I will Ice Fang the Flygon because I'm more worried about that because somehow I ended up with a ground weak Pokemon. Ice Fang, one shot, yes. Oh no, not Thunder Punch. Sceptile, huh. Icy Wind both of you and then Ice Fang the Dragonite. Probably has multi-scale. Aha, the Icy Wind breaks multi-scale and makes it eat the berry, which means the Ice Fang can now do a lot. What was that, what was that, huh? Weakness policy? Well, if this one shots, no, that's so bad. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, well, yippee ki took that like a champ. That sucks. All right, let's go manifest, intimidate them further. I do still have Tailwind. I don't know what yippee ki turn order is because it's paralyzed, but they're also both at minus one speed. So I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam just to make sure I hit both, but I'm gonna target Dragonite with the Dragon Claw because I can't let that thing hit either of my Pokemon. Okay, that was the right call. Acrobatics, what are you doing? Kingdra, all right, well, Dazzling Gleam again, and uh, I'm gonna fly. Go Team Sky. Dazzling Gleam hits both, okay. Not much damage, and uh, no poison. 
Glad the ice beam missed, though. Wait, now my tailwind petered out. Just icy wind again, always had to get rid of that speed. Okay, bummer. I might be about to eat an ice beam, <laughs> so that sucks. Sceptile goes down, but, oh God, I didn't love that. Well, it's time for my weakest Pokemon and my strongest. <laughs> Another Intimidate, glad I got that on the Haxorus. But now it is finally time. Everybody is a creature of the sky! Don't die immediately! Okay, Kingdra's done. That's really nice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, he's back to neutral attack, but still, that is very spooky. Archaladon. What? Which one of these am I more scared of? I'm scared of Haxorus because it's faster. Watch this dragon's blood boil! Oh, I see what he's doing. Oh, boy. Oh, another dragon dance. Okay. It's not gonna hit me this turn, so I'm glad I targeted it because it would have been real bad after this. Now, who does Archaladon go for? Ready to get blasted to smithereens? Electro shot. That didn't do anything. You know what? Let's finish this here. Helping hand from air buddy on to jet butt. Dragon pulse. Go team sky. Look at that. Air Buddy and Jet Butt working together to claim victory. Watson, things are going well, thank you. It'd be so disappointing if Mikey had gotten weaker. I would never, what are, what is that face? What are you doing? Watson, I'm very concerned. Has Night Sky corrupted you? Or are you just having a mental health crisis? I decided to train up both Charizard and Flygon, now named Savannah and Sky God. So let's do this. Hello, handlebar hair. Why are we out here? Their trial starts here. What are we doing? I call my challenge the flying time trial. I will need to fly around the skies. The fake sky, to be clear. Jet butt. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. You, you gave the power of flight to night sky? I'd given up on that search because I'd made no headway and this Girl, this child with handlebar hair is the answer? A snack? Of all of my adventures, this one has got to have been the silliest. It's a supplement. Oh my God, I have permanent flight. This is amazing. My Agius, jet butt, but close. will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. Listen here, handlebar hair. I need you to provide me with your entire supply of this supplement. I will just keep a whole big bag in my backpack so I can constantly fly. That's gotta be what Night Sky did. He learned you'd invented this and just stole a bunch of supplements. Well, it may be fleeting, but I will enjoy true flight. Oh, incredible. This is how it's always meant to be. I, the leader of Team Sky, fully flying. And to go through as many of these rings as possible so that I can generate enough extra time as possible so I can just fly around a bit at the end. Oh, I missed one. Nobody saw that. Oh, it's beautiful. Jet butt, don't you love this? And now I have 40 seconds to fly around freely. Go Team Sky. You listen here, Amaris, Handlebar Hair, whoever you are. I will compensate you grandly to make a whole bunch of these supplements so that I may never be forced to be ground bound again. Go Team Sky! I need more. But now, Handlebar Hair, I must defeat you. I feel like Heat Wave could one-shot both of them. So I'm actually gonna Dragon Claw the Skarmory because I feel like it has sturdy. You Skarmory before, I'm familiar. Unless I, f oh, geez, that did so much. Oh no, it didn't KO the Doug Trio. Oh, it had a Focus Sash, that's why. All right, all right, I didn't flinch and the Skarmory goes down, that's nice. Rocky Helmet, what kind of metal creature needs a helmet? Ooh, Napoleon is great to see. Um, I'm gonna protect Charizard, expecting the Empoleon to go for a water move on it, as opposed to an ice type move on Sky Gun. This may not pay off, but it's a prediction. I right, protect with Charizard. Stone Edge. <gasps> oh, oh, I'm glad I protected. Here's the earthquake. Oh, so close to getting the Empoleon. Dang it. It's okay. Let's go Gyarados. Reuniclus. That isn't a steel type. Guess I'll just heat wave again and earthquake with Gyarados. Heat wave takes out Empoleon, nice. I could have gone for waterfall, but oh, trick room, Scizor. I'm just gonna hit Reuniclus with a waterfall. Ouch. Oh, not enough. Maybe with Heat Wave, but I kind of doubt it. A berry. Oh, Heat Wave gets Reuniclus. Let's go. Oh, Metagross. Very scary. I will say it. I'm just gonna Earthquake with Gyarados again, though. I should be okay, though. Like, it can't hit both of me. Ow. Ow. Earthquake takes out Scizor. How can Heat Wave take out the Metagross? Burn! Yeah! 
Go Team Sky! Now you listen here, Ameris. I know I am not technically your boss yet, but I've only got one more Elite Four member and Watson to defeat. And as soon as I am in charge of you, you are going to be constantly making those flight supplements. One more battle against the Fire Trainer. And I actually think I'm gonna keep Skygon on. I know it makes my team very weak to ice, but I don't think I need to worry about that for a battle against a fire type trainer. And now we fight. What you got for me, spicy boy? Ooh, the Rotom is not great to see. I need to KO that thing immediately. I'm just gonna double target it. Oh, okay. I see, I, I should have foreseen that. No, it's faster! No! <gasps> He lived. Rocky Helmet. Oh, R.I.P. Gyarados. Oh, well, not a great start. Let's go Manifest, who will hopefully be faster than the Rotom. Okay, the Rotom is gone. God, I wish I could have O-Code that thing. All right, not enough. Are you serious? Man, this one's going so bad. <laughs> I hate that I have to risk another burn, but like, what else am I gonna do? Okay, KO'd it, no flame bot. No, no, ah! Ancient power. I can't believe it flame body burned both of them. There's really no reason to preserve either of them now. So I'm just gonna fly and just uh, keep hitting earthquake, I guess. Maybe I'll get a crit or something. Oh, this one. Somehow this is going way worse than all the other ones. This is probably gonna KO. Oh wait, I had like 10 HP, of course it is. <laughs> Time for Savannah. Okay, heat wave. Oh yeah, way to go Savannah. That's huge. Blaziken and Magmortar. Who am I more afraid of? It's earthquake here and Scorching Sands the Blaziken. I think it's more likely to have a rock move. Oh, <laughs> all right, I'll wait. Oh, the Blaziken, not the Magmortar. Earthquake, not that much damage, but be oh, a bit more than I was expecting. Ooh, noted. Scorching Sands, ah, not enough. Oh no, no! Man, I was right, it was more likely to have a rock move. Dang it! Well, here we go. My strongest Pokemon and my weakest. Intimidate, I guess, helps to a degree. Let's get rid of this Blaziken immediately. I'll just snarl the Magmortar. After Air Buddy takes to the sky! This is actually somewhat strategic if it goes for a fighting move on it. Oh, it's not gonna get the chance, Never mind. Goodbye. Sucker punch. Oh, and that got the KO! <gasps> Air Buddy got a KO! <laughs> I didn't actually expect that to KO! Go Team Sky! And that's all of the Elite Four. I need only defeat Watson, clear him from any temptation of Night Sky, then utilize my new underlings to achieve my goals. Take down this accursed underwater establishment and its fake sky, permanent flight for Jetbot, and preventing Night Sky from ruining the sky. Watson, it brings me, uh, frankly, just a, a mild amount of pain to have to defeat you, but the reality is the sky matters more than your feelings. What's with the freaking Dragonites? I do like that it's a creature of the sky. All right, I'm going to, Oh, why is everything wet? I'm gonna handle this Dragonite similarly to how I handled Drayton's. Protect turn one, cause it's, it's gonna know some kind of electric move and hit him both with an icy wind. Make him slower, break multi-scale and a berry if it has one. Both get slower. Ooh, weather ball. Okay, we take that. Ooh, really glad I protected. Okay, after the speed drop, I should be faster, but I'm gonna tailwind to make sure. Ice Fang, Oko, yes, yes, yes. Those weather balls are wearing at me. Oregon Z, kind of a creature of the sky, but not really. That thing I feel like almost certainly has some kind of electric coverage, but with the rain waterfall, I think I should be fine. Dazzling Gleam, poison, nope. All right, yes, all right. Thanks for setting up that rain, buddy. Oh, all right. Yippee Kaye is going down. Rookie's back. And he brings in the fire type. Oh, you stupid intimidating jerk! Whatever, the rain helps protect me here. Helping hand. Ooh, oh, so close. All right, which one of us is it hitting? Darkest Lariat. Ooh, jeez. This is my last turn of Tailwind and Rain. So definitely waterfalling here. Guess I'll drill peck the Politoed. That was dumb. I'm gonna KO it before it gets to attack. Sit down! Are you okay, dude? I feel kind of bad. Grim Snarl. Okay. I guess I'm gonna Earthquake and Iron Head. You stupid jerk. Screams. God, that did absolutely nothing to the Grim Snarl. Oh my God, why is it so, oh, duh. 
I was intimidated. All right, well, Waterfall might make it flinch. I'm gonna bulk up with Rookie again. I wanna be at plus one. Ooh, you sucker punched me, but it failed. I can't believe Fellhorn is still alive. <laughs> Ooh, yep, all right, I... Right as I said it, it's fine. I gotta get some fresh eyes in here. Iron Head, that'll do it. Okay, go air buddy. Want you to see the field. Hydrapple? What on earth is that? Probably a special attacker. Because of that, I'm gonna drill peck it. I still a grass type, right? I forgot to terrestrialize my Diana. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dragon or grass type? Fighting? Watson, fighting against team Sky? I can't believe I ever considered you as an admin. What an absolutely buffoonish decision. Oh, okay, I might I might be dealing with the consequences of not a... Uh, wait, Fickle Beam? Oh, never mind. I thought it was about to fighting move my Diana, but it didn't, because it's dumb. Now, Air Buddy takes to the sky. With a bit of a helping hand, Rookie drill packs and takes down the Hydrapple. Oh, well, that's rude. <laughs> I was like, well, I just got to KO the frog and then it's over with, but all right, okay. Sucker punch? Oh, so close. Oh, this is, uh, this is awkward. Now it's frozen with its wings on. <laughs> Sucker punch? And there we go! Air buddy with the final KO. Go, team, Scott! Sorry to do it to you, Watson. I mean, a little bit. But now, everyone, I am your new ruler. I mean, uh, boss, champion, whatever. And I have orders for my subordinates, including the one who's breaking down right now. Um, you can wait for him. But the rest of you, Amaris, you are to immediately develop a maximum supply of the supplements. The rest of you are to seek out Team Night Sky. He was spotted somewhere in this facility. All of you will, are you listening to me? Ex-champion. Drayton, not the time. Oh, a prize. Ooh, what a great prize. Now, as I was saying, I need you all to spread out and search for Night Sky. He looks just like me, but wearing all black and a bit older. Oh, and the eye patch. That I won't lose next time for sure. I'll win. Watson, shut up. Ah, are you all ready to listen to my orders? What is this? This is an announcement for the following students. Watson, Drayton, Knotson, and me. Miss Briar and some guests would like to see you. Why? Now, what is this about? Very special guests. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the secluded and mysterious Area Zero. Why? I've been there. It's not that crazy. I think that we can find Terrapagos. The legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. I mean, I love legendary Pokemon as much as the next guy, but it starts with Terra, which to me implies land. Who is this? Oh, hello. Who are you again? Oh, right, you, you were champion or something. I beat you very easily. Blah, 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 blah. Have you seen Night Sky? There are more important things than this crater. I, I guess I'll join in your team. I'm not an evil team, I'm a good guy. I have tasked the rest of the league with seeking out Night Sky here somewhere in the school. Oh, and Watson's going. Sure, thanks for the CD, but don't most people just use their phones now? At least I can get a break from this cursed C school. Watson, I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero no matter what it takes. Why do you care so much, Watson? Yep, uh, this is it. Glad you like it. Wait, see what's deeper. What do you mean even deeper? Heath mentioned in his writings that he fell from the depths to some place even deeper. Wait, hold on. His writings are to be believed there must be an entire uncharted space below Area Zero. Don't tell me that I just left a school under the ocean to go as deep underground as anyone has ever been. How do I keep ending up in these skyless situations? Ah! Yep, this is the Zero Lab. Feels, uh, it's uh, kind of unnerving to be here. Bringing up some troubling memories. Oh, this is what I use the CD for. Well, here we go. Unlike last time, I don't expect to find Night Sky here, which is both good and bad. Look, an elevator maybe can take us further down. Down, you say? I know, it's my least favorite direction. Ugh. I hate this so much. And it brought us to a shiny cave. According to my data, our current position is far deeper than where we last were. Uh, report written by Turo. The dead guy. Massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero and there's Thumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. 
Oh, so this thing is just actually down here. In this cavern, I've witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Hold the power of every known type. Well, I don't really care about most of the types. Is there anything here that can help me get through here? While investigating the hidden treasure, I found myself suddenly transported to a great height near a lake that smelled of sulfur. Based on temperature and humidity, I believe it to have been the eastern lands I've read about before. And there, a child gave me a white volume just transported somewhere else? That's weird. I suppose it's not that weird. I was randomly transported back in time and then also to a world with fusion. So it can happen. It seems to be possible here. It's a big room with crystals. Wow. Sorry, I just, I really hate being down here. Watson, what are you doing? Hold on. I have everything you've ever wanted. Strong Pokemon, could go anywhere he wants. It could be friends with anyone. Well, I mean, fair. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. Look, man, it's been sitting in my box. I'll trade it to you. Look, man, I understand that you look up to me, but like you've done some stuff that, oh, oh, you broke it. Oh my God, oh, should have brought sunglasses down here. But that would have been silly because I'm going deep underground. Oh, it's a turtle. Oh, clearly not a creature of the sky, but you know, it's cute. Oh no, I imprinted on something else. Oh, oh my God. Watson just whipped out the master ball and caught the Terrapagos. That was crazy. What is going on? Other people can get those? Now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. A little demonstration of its power. We fight once again, it seems. Watson. Very well. If you're going to use your legendary, I will use mine. Although it feels a bit odd to fight such a tiny little baby turtle. What? It's floating? Is Terrapagos a creature of the sky? Or a creature of the area slightly above the ground? Terra shell. It's distorting tight matchups. What? It resisted my hit using its Terra shell. Earth power? Ow! It's metal sounded. I really hate that. I hate that so much. I, mm, all right, well, is this still gonna be resisted? No, it is not! Ha ha! Go Team Sky! You must terrestrialize it. Uh, do we need to do that? It seems content. Has any of the league called me to tell me if Night Sky's been spotted? Oh, why am I even trying? I don't have service down here. Oh my God, oh my God, again, I should have had sunglasses. Wait a second. I have goggles! Oh my god, it's so bright! Never mind, these don't help with the brightness at all. Oh no! Watson is saved by Jetbutt! You smug lizard. Huh? Oh, ooh! It broke the ball! The baby seems dangerous now! I am officially concerned for my safety. Its energy output is going haywire. We're all in serious danger if we can't bring it under control. Ugh. Well, I appreciate the hospitality. Let's metal sound this thing. And it failed. Terra Star Storm! Oof! It's clear I need to terrestrialize, so I just need to hit this thing. Notson, you are appreciated. I I really appreciate it. I just gotta be able to terrestrialize. Oh my gosh, all the stars! Matcha gotcha! Now's your chance to use terrestrialize Pokemon to strike back. Very well! Come on, Jetbutt! Electro drift it! Boom! Shatter the shield, fantastic. What'd you just do? You absorbed my terrestrial energy. You broke my terrestrialization! I have never witnessed greater rudeness. Oh, well, um, the help was nice while it lasted. Watson, I, I would appreciate the help, I won't lie. I gotta heal. Uh-oh, well, that's bad. Let's go into Rookie. Rookie's immune to the earth power. Steel type, so resists a lot of things. There's no way I can make Terra Star Storm again. Stars are in the sky and do. So much damage, oh my god! I'm gonna protect, I want I want a bit of extra leftovers healing. Maybe I can run out the PP for that move, my gosh. Ooh, ah! Try slice your Pokemon so it shines once more. This thing's faster than me, Briar, it'll just KO me! Come on, rookie. Live this and strike it with your drill peck. Oh, it's super effective. Why is it suddenly super effective? What the hell? Okay, Fellhorn's faster at least. And I flinched it. Okay, maybe I can beat this thing. How much does this do? 
Oh, not that much. I'm faster, which means I can hit it with a Terra Waterfall. Come on, please be enough. Break this freaking shield. No! What is the PP for this stupid star storm? Felhorn lived! Felhorn lived! I thought that was gonna KO me for sure! Finally! It is so mean that you have to terastalize to hit this thing, but that move is super effective on terastalized Pokemon! I hate being underground! Watson, I know we've had our differences, but I need your help! I'll let you be an admin and everything! I'll take that as a yes! Waterfall, not very effective. Oh, it absorbed the Terra type that my last Pokemon was. So now it's water. Jetbutt can hit it. Dragon cheer! Oh, thank you! No, not Hydrapple, I need his help! Oh, he's got more, okay. Whew. <laughs> and a paralysis! Way to go, Watson! I only have two Electro Drifts left. I got a Dragon Pulse first. Critical hit, nice, thanks to the dragon cheer. And now, the terastalized Electro Drift. Boom! That's gotta be the last shield, right? It is, it can't form another. Come on, Jet Butt, my loyal friend. One final Electro Drift. Go Team Sky! You have given me so much trouble, you little turtle. I'm going to catch you so I can put you in a box and not bother me anymore. God, it is over. Let's head back up and see if any of my subordinates in the league have made progress with the tasks that I gave them. Because Night Sky, we haven't solved that problem yet. As for you, Watson, I accept your apology for being so crazy. Oh, don't cry. Now you're gonna make, <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> well, that was a lot, but now to see if my subordinates accomplished their mission. Have any of you located Night Sky? Hello? You're just talking about food. I gave you a task. Well, let's see if Handlebar Hair did her job. Do you have my supply of supplements or jet butt to be able to fly? It sounds really bad <laughs> if you don't specify. You prepared a tremendous amount of the flight enabling supplement used in your trial. Yes, way to go, handlebar hair. Here you are, jet butt. I want to fly right now. Why, you want to fly right now? Girl, I always want to fly. Wait, it was never meant to be eaten in such large. Oh, jet butt. <gasps> Wait, it's just permanent now. Jet butt, you absolute legend. Permanent flight without the need for treats, which actually might be kind of a disappointment for you, but I'll give you treats. Don't worry. Here we go, Jet Butt. Properly take to the sky! <laughs> I realize I'm doing this underwater, but it still feels cool. Wherever Team Night Sky is, he won't be able to flee from me now. Which on that topic, um, I guess my only goal now is to find him. Guess I'll just start asking around. Oh, hey, you're new here. Have you seen Team Night Sky? What? What? Rayquaza? You strange, beautiful man. What is this? You've seen it? Steep Paldean cliffs? Paldea? A sea of white mist. It loves that snack you have. I don't believe this. Rayquaza is in Paldea. And with the cliffs and the fog, it's gotta be near the crater. Finally, I will reunite with Rayqua. Night Sky, your journey ends here. I see you're finally showing yourself, coward. I'm not a coward, I'm efficient. I've been working constantly these last few months to regain the power that you stole from me. And the time is finally here. Hand over to Rapagos. The baby turtle that almost blew us up? You want that? Everything I've done up to now has been to get me closer to Terrapagos. The crystal pool, manipulating Kirin, working with Briar. Hold on, the pool? Watson? And working with Briar? I knew her eyes were evil. I suppose I can explain. The crystal pool was just a research visit that you interrupted, but I didn't learn anything from it. As for Briar, she isn't evil, just obsessed and naive. When I learned I needed Terrapagos, I stumbled upon her work and I approached her about working together. We've been partners ever since. I never told her my true origin or intentions, only that I wanted to find Terrapagos as badly as she did. But then why did she ask me to go on the expedition? Because somehow, despite the eye patch, she never realized that we were different people. 
Ever wonder why she approached you so casually the first time, as if you had already known each other? Oh. As for Kieran, once you stole the ogre from him, he was easy to manipulate. He wanted to beat you so badly he'd listen to anything I said such as forget useless things like friendship and kindness, and gain the power of a legendary Pokemon like Terrapagos. Doing those things will maximize your potential, which was still pitifully low, but he had his uses. I got him involved in Briar's mission, for one. But the mission to the Underdepths, it didn't go as planned for you. Actually, it did. I knew it would be extremely dangerous, and Terrapagos could be extremely unstable, so I wasn't going to risk going down there. But Briar was too tunnel-visioned on Terrapagos to care about the danger, and Kieran wasn't aware of it. My original plan was for them to go down there, fetch Terrapagos, bring it back up, at which point I would take it from them by force. But then that brat Carmen had to spot me at the school, causing you to show up, which at first I thought would be a problem. But then I realized, it was an opportunity. You see, I knew Briar didn't know the difference between us, so she would invite you on the mission instead of me. And I knew you would go, because you have a weird habit of doing things just because people ask you to. I'm never presented with an opportunity to say no. I figured there were three possible outcomes, all of which I'd be happy with. The first of them was your death. Wait, wouldn't my death kill you? We established we're from different timelines and thus not the same, now shut up. The second outcome was Kieran catching it, which did happen for a bit. And third was you catching it. But I didn't particularly care which one of you caught it because either way, I would be taking Terrapagos by force. But why? Why go to all this trouble for Terrapagos? You still haven't figured it out? <laughs> you idiot. The source of the time machine's power was terrestrial energy, and the highest density, most distilled form of that is Terrapagos. Terrapagos can time travel? It can. And with that power, I might be able to return to my own timeline, but even if I can't, I can still wreak havoc all across history. I can darken the skies before you're born. No, scratch that. I can prevent you from ever being born. The only person strong enough to defeat me, my sickeningly good self, would be gone forever. And I would be unstoppable. Well, all of that hinges on you taking Terrapagos from me, which won't happen. I'm much stronger than our last meeting. You can't beat me. Months ago, no, I couldn't. But hunting Terrapagos isn't the only thing I've been doing these last few months. I've assembled a team of legendary Pokemon, which I can now destroy you with. Um, well, uh, if, if you don't mind, before we get started, I'd uh, like to take a page out of your book. <laughs> bye bye Wait, what? No, come back here! I need Rayquaza, I need Rayquaza. If he's got all these legends, I need Rayquaza's power. You can't flee forever, I will end you! Well, looks like once the playing sky evened out, your winged king can't keep up. I bet it doesn't even float. Oh my God, I despise you! Now where is Rayquaza? If I make one wrong move, he's gonna catch up a... <gasps> There it is! Come here, Rayquaza! Oh, I knew you'd find your way back to me! With this Master Ball, Skydios has returned to me at last! I've got you beat, Night Sky! One Rayquaza won't be enough. Behold, the full might of the world, Darkener! Team Night Sky! Go, my legendary birds! Come on, Savannah, yippee! I know these legends, so I know how to stop them. Let's block any Thunderbolts onto Charizard and Icy Wind them both to slow them down. Ooh, and there is that poison. I love to see it. You're so predictable. Tailwind from Zapdos and Snowscape from Articuno. Smart, but I can set up my own Tailwind too. Now let's hit him with Heat Wave. Wait, that didn't kill Articuno? No! Now it's time for Thunderbolt. <laughs> No, Charizard! And Blizzard. That's fine, Giphy has high special defense. Now let's see how you contend with Felhorn. A Gyarados against a Zapdos? Ha, <laughs> you're already choking. 
Don't count me out yet. First, Fellhorn protects. Then Yippee makes you slower again with Icy Wind. And another poison, take that! As for your Thunderbolt, that's gonna do nothing. <sighs> well, I can still Blizzard that stupid thing and freeze it in the process, ha! Crap, it's fine. Your Articuno's finally done. Good riddance. Articuno is only the intro. Let's see how you deal with its trio's master. Deep breaths, deep breaths, Yippee. I really need you to thaw out, please, my special poison bird. Yes, yes! Hit him with that icy wind! Goodbye, Zapdos! Get out of here! Now for waterfall onto Lugia. It would be great if you could flinch. Nice try. Arrow Blast. <laughs> it's gonna take more than that to take down Felhorn. Go, Moltres. Moltres against my Gyarados? Who's choking now? You won't be able to hit it. I know. Icy Wind. And now Ice Fang. That didn't KO? Oh my God, Lugia's way too bulky. I'm tired of this rancid turkey. Lugia, destroy it. Yippee, no! Looks like it's finally time. Go, air buddy! Mighty Yenna. Mighty Yenna! <laughs> I outgrew that mud ages ago. You think you can stop me with that pathetic mutt that can't even fly? I'll, I'll show you. Oh crap, my nerves made me forget to tear up, whatever. Helping hand, and now water. Not if you flinch. Air slash. Come on, Fellhorn, you can do it, buddy. Yes, yes! Way to take down that Moltra! Flame body? What? It can have that? That's its hidden ability. I told you, I've prepared. Now for another arrow blast. Doesn't KO, but no matter. Your Gyarados is useless now. And now it is time. Go, my winged king! And there it is. I knew it couldn't even float. Unlike air buddy. You're wasting your Terra on it? Ha! This is incredible! Now, King, finish off the Gyarados. It's fine, it's fine. Air Buddy will take out the Lugia with Snarl. No, no! <laughs> Can't even do that little bit, even with a critical hit? What a useless pile of trash. Now, Lugia, let's get you healed back up. Oh, this is bad, but I still have jet butt. Come on, buddy. Let's take down this false flying king. No, no, no. Be first. Dragon claw. Come on, jet butt. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Yes. Now dragon pulse. Boom. The winged king gets its wings clipped. Now take this super fang, Lugia. No. Oh, fine. I'll just finish off this stupid robot. No! What? Ha! That snarl may not have KO'd Lugia, but it weakened its offense just enough. Fine. Fine. It's time for my last resort. Behold! A Rayquaza worthy of Team Night Sky! Now, terrestrialize! I can handle that, but first, Lugia's gotta go. Helping hand, and now Jetbutt Electro Drift! There we go, sit down. Goodbye, Jet Butt. Dragon Claw. Thank you, Jet Butt. But now it's finally time. Skydios, help me defeat his one final Pokemon. First helping hand, and now end it with Dragon Claw. Wait, what? Habanberry, no. What, you didn't think I would have prepared for this? Come on, Skydios, power through. You can still end it. No, no, yes! Control of the skies through all time will finally be mine! Dragon Claw! Yes, it's over! I win! I, I still have Air Buddy. That pathetic mutt? I've ignored it this whole time because it's so useless and weak, just like you. Any of my attacks one-shots it, which actually I'll go ahead and do now. Dragon? Not yet. Air Buddy, sucker punch. Ha! Mighty Anna fails once again. End this once and for all, Rayquaza. Terra boosted Dragon Claw! Air Buddy, hold on. What? No, no, I... I only have attacking moves. This, this can't be. And that's why you lose, Night Sky.
you fail to see the value of every creature of the sky. Air buddy, one final sucker punch. Impossible. Impossible! I am the world darkener! It is my destiny to darken the skies! Actually, it seems your destiny is to lose. And also, now that you told me what Terrapagos can do, I think it's time you take a well-deserved timeout. Specifically, a time of like a hundred million years ago. I will find my way back to you! I will darken! Whew, that was intense. But it is over now. So I guess there's only one more thing to do. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Rayquaza now. <laughs> Go Team Sky!